Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export the Icon 8 i3 as FBX file so that you can use it in any other 3D software like Blender, Maya, Unreal Engine, etc. And first I'm going to let you see, you can see in your Icon 8 here, you have a lot of trees and even if you can get the Biosphere collections or total plants, and then all of this, what we call the i3. Actually, in iClone 8, we don't have any of the method to export it as FBX. There's no direct method, but finally I make it. You can see now, this tree already in 3D Exchange 7, and even I can bring it to Unreal Engine 5. At the beginning, it is the i3. What do we call the iClone 3? So this is a really great breakthrough, and now I'm going to show you step by step. The first step, you can just go to my video description. Go to my video description, you can scroll down and get this link, get iClone 3 exporter. This is the, the first step, what you are going to do. All right, once you already get the iClone 3 exporter, then once you download it, it is a zip file. You download it as a zip file, you have to export, you have to extract it into the folder. If you already extract it into the folder, you will get two items. The first one is the, the tree render I project, and another one is the tree exported. Just by using these two, then you can you can do it as well. And I just want to show you step by step. This is the icon 3D Exchange 7. But of course, you just want to export it as FBX and the FBX, you can use it in any other software. Right. So I will start from the icon first. I will start from beginning. First step, what you are going to do is you have to click the window, workplace and choose all panel. This is the first step. Right. Window, workplace or panel. The first step. And then the second step, you have to close your timeline close the MD trigger, close the curve editor. Then the third step, just go to find any of the tree. Before that, you have to make sure you load the tree render IC7, the icon 7 project, just drag in. All right, once you drag in already, first step, go to the scene, delete the sample broad leaf. This is one of the three. Just delete it first. Press delete button to delete it. And next, go, go to the contents. Go to find any of the three. As demo, I'm, ju I'm just going to use a random tree. Just for example, the Japanese maple. The first step. Right. The second step, go to the visual and adjust the strength of the IDL. And once you feel satisfied already, then make sure back to the scene, make sure you click it and press F. Once you press F already, go to the project and activate this image. And I want you to make sure that this tree is at the center and the roots of the tree must at the bottom like this. Right, you can just scroll and magnify it until the whole tree is displayed like this and then you can see everything, make sure you don't over, over it. And here is at the center already. If you feel not satisfied, you can just press E to just rotate it a little bit to make sure the trunk is at the center. Make sure you select it and, and move it to the center. Once done already, back to the project and then deactivate the image. Then click the render. Here already selected as 1024 times 1024. Do not do any changes. 
and then just click export and as demo I'm going to export it on my desktop as free sample 01 all right it, on my desktop save it as a PNG now you can see it exported as a PNG the next step you can close your project we no need this project just start a new project like this and then just go to the window workplace and back to the standard it's okay now and then next up back to the icon tree exporter drag in the tree exporter i icon 7 just drag in drag to the center and then now you can see it is already become another mesh like this so if you want to export it as fbx it is very simple already click here and then change this change this to replace the image so this one the icon tree exporter you can close it and then the tree sample is here drag drag and drop to the texture it, it will automatic generate the opacity map and now you can see it become another another tree and then of course you can check with the original tree just to look at look at the difference just now is the Japanese maple then this is yours and you click here scroll down the self illuminations you can just make it full it's okay it is up to you and you can resize this and actually it visually no different from the original tree of course the geometry geometry is different if you want to to look look at the 3d effect it also have the 3d effect and this this is actually just one two three three faces like this but because of this is just a prop that created by me it is just a prop so you can just export it delete the original tree and what we want is just click here to zero out wait just make it at the center like this reset the transform and click zero out remember click reset transform and zero out it will be at the center once it is at the center already, you can just click File, Export, FBX. Make sure you select it already. Let's say if you want to go for the Unreal Engine, it is really simple. Unreal. If you want to go for the Blender, just choose Blender. Now you can export it as FBX, as what I, I have promised in at the beginning of the tutorial, how to export the Icon i3 as FBX. A full tutorial with low poly but realistic. Now. As demo, I will choose Unreal Engine. Click embed the texture, current frame, maximum texture size is up to you. But just now I already just render it as 1024. So here I will choose 1024, I export it. And as demo, I will export it on my desktop. The file name, I will just name this as the tree sample 01. Save. And click OK. Now it will export it as FBX like this. Of course now if I open it will open by using the Autodesk FBX viewer and it doesn't show the two side but it's okay. You can just manually adjust by yourself. Now in Unreal Engine, this is another tree and here I will just create a new folder, name this as tree 02. Just double click in and drag in the tree sample, just drag in, import it as the skeleton mesh import the mesh and click import all and close this conversation now it is preparing the shader but actually it is just for a while this is another software we, we name it as unreal engines now the tree sample is here this is the skeleton mesh now you can see it is already inside but it doesn't show two sides and as there are more i will just just show you how to fix this just double click it in unreal engine and then here for all of this, of course the emissive 
I can just take it down. It is up to you. The blend mode, you have to click here and make sure the blend mode you choose mask. And then, the, this is the opacity map. You have to hold the control, drag the opacity and drop to the opacity mask. And then, make sure you click here again and drag it down. Choose two sides. And then, click save. For, for this time, you need to wait for a while. Now, it is saving. Once it's saved already, you back to back to check the tree sample. Now you can see everything look okay already. If I close it and drag it to my Unreal Engine scenes, I try to play. Now you can see the tree is already there and it looks realistic as well. As a game developer, you no need to have such a have such a high poly tree. You just need to have have three planes to make the tree realistic with with the opacity map and the render images is, is enough. All right, now you can see actually it make no difference. Just compare again. That's all for today about my tutorial on how to export the iClone 8 i3 as FBX so that you can use it in any other 3D software like the Blender, like Maya, Unreal Engine, etc. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D animation and game developing. See you!